We are going to begin the funeral service for Mr. Mark Goldberg. Um, if the family that are here and, and extended family and friends that are here, please make sure that you've uh, put your phone into silent mode or turn it completely off. I'd also like to welcome anyone via live stream in support of the family. Thank you for attending. Services will be conducted by Cantor Howard Friedland. Shalom Aleichem, peace to everyone who's here and 
those who are watching from, from near and far. Uh, before we start the main body of the service, uh, we begin with Kriya. Kriya is the, the tearing of the garment, tearing or rending. It is said that when our ancestor Jacob heard of the supposed death of his son Joseph, he was so overcome with grief that he tore his clothing. And so today, uh, as a symbol of that, we, we tear a ribbon. We use a black ribbon. Um, so I would ask the family to, to please rise, those who are wearing a ribbon, to please, uh, please rise and just stand in place. And I will first uh, uh, chant the blessing and then we can do the tearing of the ribbons. Magu kata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Dayan ha'emet Adonai natan v'adonai lakach Yishem Adonai mivagach Blessed are you eternal, our God, sovereign of all worlds, the righteous judge. God has given, God has taken away. Blessed be God's name. And I'll ask you now to tear from the bottom of your ribbon up. And you can wear this for the period of Shiva, for the seven days of mourning, for Shloshim, somewhere for the 30 days, somewhere beyond. Uh, for months after, it's an outward sign to everyone you come in contact with that, uh, that your heart's torn, is broken. And we hope and pray that in the, the days and weeks and months to come that, that it will heal and, and only the good memories are left. Please be seated. And so we've come together as family and as community to express our sacred sorrow. We've come together to draw strength from one another and from the ultimate source of all strength. We've come together to affirm comfort and blessing in the face of deepest loss. We've come together to say farewell to Mark Goldberg. We share a common prayer that the source of healing sustain those of you who grieve May you who are wounded with loss be blessed with love and compassion. And we pray that the journey that lies ahead lead from darkness to light. As it is written, thus says the source of hope, I will respond to your yearning. When you call out to me in the night, I will answer. I will be with you even in the darkest of places. I will give you strength. I will nourish you. And you shall know protection beneath the shelter of my wings. And I extend heartfelt condolences to Mark's family, to Evgenia, his wife, to his daughters, Jana and Michael Farrington, Veronica, her husband, Jonathan Rosen, his granddaughter, Odessa Rosen, and to his brother, Boris, and his wife, Shulamis Goldberg, uh, his brother, Boris, with whom he shared strong uh, brotherly bonds. And indeed, to all of you uh, who are here and all who are viewing uh, from elsewhere, uh, when we grieve, it knows no bounds of of blood. When we lose someone we love, uh, we're sad. And to all of you, I extend my condolences. We pray for wholeness and compassion in the days to come. And let us say, Amen. The 23rd Psalm. Mizmole <clears throat> David Adonai rohi lohaksar Minot dashe yarbit seni Arme minuchot, alme minuchot Yenachaleni Nafshi yishovev, yishovev Yohan Cheni v'mahag le-tzedek Yohan Cheni v'mahag le-tzedek L'mahan shemo Gam ki elech b'hegeit sal mavet Lo hirara ki atai madi Shiftecha u mishantecha 
read together the translation of the 23rd Psalm found in your pamphlet, the inside cover. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 121. Esai <laughs> nai My eyes Look unto the mountains, from where will my help come? My help comes from my very source, the fashioner of order and of harmony. Your guardian will catch you when you slip. Your shelter will protect you while you sleep. Your night will not last forever, for your protector will surely bring back the sun in the morning. Your source will watch over you at all times. And as you came into this world, swaddled in loving embrace, so... Shall you leave? And finally, this entry from Rabbi Alvin Fine. Birth is a beginning, and death a destination, and life is a journey. From childhood to maturity, and youth to age, from innocence to awareness, and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion, and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength, or strength to weakness and often back again. From health to sickness and back, we pray to health again. From offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead, we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey stage by stage, a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, but life is a journey, a sacred pilgrimage. The Torah is the sacred book of the Jewish people. It is some parts history, we believe, some parts myth, uh, some parts borrowed from other cultures on the ancient Near East at the time, was written. Uh, but no matter what kind of Judaism a Jew practices, uh, we all read the same words in the Torah. Uh, it has never been added to nor subtracted from. It remains in its original form. And from the best characters in the Torah, we learn how to live our lives. And from the worst characters in the Torah, we learn how to live our lives. And often, the best and the worst are embodied in the same person. And to me, that's the brilliance of Torah. It's not whitewashed. It shows us, 
in our human form, with our strengths and our weaknesses, and trying to do the best we can. And it seems to me that everyone's life is a Torah from which we can learn. We learn from everyone. Uh, and so it is that Mark wrote the scroll of his life. He was born in 1947 in Odessa, Odessa, Ukraine, um, a city which he loved lifelong. Um, and of course, he has a granddaughter named after her. Uh, he always yearned to go back there. He was never able to make it back, but the city remained in his heart and remained alive. Uh, he studied uh, at the Odessa uh, Polytech University. He studied mechanical engineering. Uh, and he uh, started his own firm in, uh, in 1992. His family had uh, mostly perished in the Holocaust. Those were his parents and their families. Uh, so he had, uh, he had to make his own way. Uh, he met Evgenia, his wife, uh, when she was on vacation uh, in Odessa. She played hard to get, as I'm told. Uh, they met on the beaches. Uh, she was uh, there on vacation and, and met Mark, who, who dazzled her with his, his knowledge of history and art and the love of of his city and, and showed her around. Uh, so she went back to Siberia, uh, and then they uh, began a correspondence which lasted for about a year. Mark then came to Siberia and, and proposed, and Evgenia moved to, to Odessa. And there they lived. Uh, as I said, Mark started his firm in 1992. Tragically, he suffered a stroke uh, in 1994 and left in 1995 to the United States where he could get optimal uh, medical treatment. Uh, it is not easy for anyone to live their native country anytime. Uh, it is that much harder when you're 47 years old. Uh, but he remained uh, undaunted. And so they came, they came with their family. Uh, in addition to being a mechanical engineer, uh, Mark also used the other side of his brain. He was a painter and a drawer. He was inspired by Jewish culture. Uh, he had a, a blue period where he, he painted sailboats and, and daily life in Odessa and Israel. He painted animals, lions, especially a lion and, and a rooster. And these are really beautiful paintings uh, that are up here, as well as, the, as well as the family photographs. And you can see also a painting, uh, I believe it was a sailboat out in the, in, in the lobby. Um, he was a writer. Um, he wrote stories. He wrote a memoir. He w wrote jokes. Uh, and he used to say, he used to joke, he said, you know, there were so many women in the house. He said, I'm taking the cat and moving to Israel. So uh, he wrote his memoir. It was called Moving to Israel. And uh, it must be said, uh, he was paralyzed on the left side, entire left side of his body. Um, the Torah has a, a quote saying, at the end of, of in, in Parshat Varim, uh, you're given a choice between life and death, between blessing and curse. And I don't read that literally. I'm, I read it as saying that, that, God, that God makes this, this beautiful world for us, with all of its with warts and all, but, but the beauty of the world. And we're to choose and to make of our lives what we will with it. And given a set of circumstances that Mark had, being paralyzed, he could have said, okay, I'm going to stay in bed for the rest of my life. Some people do. Many people do. He did not choose that. He chose life. He chose to make his life a blessing. He didn't view it as a curse. And the family told me that he made his life a thousand times more better than, than it, it ever could or, or should have been. He immediately began to take uh, English lessons at Oakton Community College, where he walked a mile and a half each way with a cane. That's determination. He wasn't going to let life uh, get him down. He was going to take the, the lemons and turn them into lemonade. In talking to Veronica and Yana, they said that, uh, that our dad was, loving, was a loving and supportive father. He, he made us uh, 
feel confident in ourselves, and he was always, always supportive of everything we did. Um, he loved us very much. He had a huge smile on his face all the time. In fact, when they'd see him in, in, in these later days, they'd say, how are you feeling? He'd say, much better now that you're here, because he loved his family so much. It was very important to him that his daughters had a, uh, uh, an excellent education, especially in science and math. Uh, he was a lover, of course, of history, art, and politics, and he had very, uh, very decisive views in his, in his politics. Um, he was a wonderful grandfather. Uh, he has one grandchild, of course, and there's one on the way. And, uh, and though he won't be here physically, to see her, uh, I know that the stories of, of his life will be told by, by you, and, and, she, and he will be in, in her, in, in that child's heart as well. So what's, uh, what's Mark's legacy? What do we learn of his Torah, of his scroll? The family said it's strength, loyalty, no judgment towards anyone. They accepted everyone as, as they were. Uh, my feeling is that he was, a very, uh, he was a very godly man, though he was not overtly, as I was told, not overtly religious. He had a very Jewish soul. He knew he was a Jew. And it's interesting, Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan, who was the founder of Reconstructionist Judaism, uh, the, the movement in Judaism which I serve, uh, believed that God was not a supernatural power that control the fate of humankind, but rather that God was that source in the universe that made for salvation and brought out the best that is in us and enables us to, to bear the worst that can befall us. And that was Mark, it seems to me. And by that definition, a very, very godly man. He was uh, into sports as a scene. He was a swimmer a runner, a boxer. Uh, he loved watching soccer, winter and summer Olympics, and of course he knew the history of all the teams, of all, of all the games, and uh, was really a, a student. He took care of his, his parents. Uh, they passed away three years ago, and they're both in their, in their 90s, and they lived a good life here. Uh, and it cannot be stressed enough that Yevgenia really was uh, the source that, that took care of Mark to his last days, and he could not have lived the life he lived without, without you. So uh, I'm going to close my mark, remarks just in a second and, and invite Jana up to the podium to speak. Uh, I know what it is to, to love your city. I'm from the town of Springfield, Illinois. I was born and raised. Not by any means an exciting place, not doesn't have the topography and the beauty, of course, of Odessa, uh, but it is near to my heart, and I know what it is to love your town and be away from it and maybe not have people who are there anymore and not get back so much. So I thought I would, uh, would sing this chorus of, uh, of the town, praises the town that, that Mark loved so much. And the translation for those who may not know uh, Adessa, Adessa, you're a pearl on the sea. You've known so much grief. Dear, beloved region, live and prosper. Ach, Adessa, j'am sujena u morge. Ach, Adessa, tis na la noga gorge. Ach, Adessa, rodno j'am sujeni kraj. Živi maja djesa, živi i pracvetaj. May you rest in peace, Mark. Rest in peace. I now invite Mark's daughter, Jana, at the podium. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, it's going to be hard for me to top this but um, I'm going to try. I'd like to say a couple words, and I thought that um, to truly make it meaningful, um, I'd like to say them in Russian. So my apologies for those of you that are going to have to just listen to me. 
Um, I do have an English translation for you for later. Один раз поколение и даже реже рождаются самые яркие звезды. Они освещают путь вселенной, и благодаря им ночное небо так прекрасно. Такой звездой был мой отец. Я верю, что звезды и люди бессмертны. Они с нами, пока последний человек помнит их имя. Вспоминайте папу, посмотря на ночное небо. Выберите самую яркую звезду и произнесите вслух его имя. И в это мгновение он будет с вами. Наследие, оставшее нам отцом, это идти по жизни, по его примеру, любить ее, любить людей, быть преданной своей семье и близким, быть чутким, сильным духом и никогда не осуждать. Спасибо и низкий поклон все вам за то, что вы есть и за то, что вы сегодня с нами. И в заключение я хочу прочесть отрывок стиха из папиной любимой песни, последнюю песню, которую мы слушали с ним вместе. «Призрачно все в этом миром бущующем. Есть только миг, за него и держись. Есть только миг между прошлым и будущим. Именно он называется «Жизнь». Вечный покой сердце вряд ли обрадует. Вечный покой для седых пирамид. А для звезды, что сорвалась и падает, есть только миг, ослепительный миг. Спасибо. Спасибо. And now I invite you, as you were able to, to please rise for the memorial prayer. Kamale Rachamim. El Mare Rachamim, Shachen Ban Ramim, Hametzem in the Chanachan Natachat Chanfe Hashchina, Bemalot Kedoshim Utehorim. Kezoharakiya mazirim et nishmat Motul ben Yaakov ubasya shalach le olamo Anna barachamim hastirehu beset el kanfecha le olamim Utseror, pizraka imet nishmato. Adonai, unachalato. Mianuach nishalom al mishkamo. Vinamar. Amen. God, filled with compassion, whose loving presence ever surrounds us, bring final rest to the soul of Mark Goldberg, who has returned to his source. May the memory of his life shine forth like the brilliance of the skies above as it brightens our own lives, even now, and it surely does today. May you, who are the source of all compassion, shelter him beneath the protection of your wings and bind his soul among the living, that he may rest in peace and let us say amen. Please be seated. This does conclude the service at the chapel. Um, the interment will be private. Immediately following the interment, the family uh, will be going to the Wildfire Restaurant. If you are here, that information is on your folders. 
If you'd like to leave a message for the family on our website, you can either leave one handwritten or like uh, typed or also a video, which will go directly to the family. And th those uh, avenues are on our website. This does conclude the service at our chapel. I would ask that everyone please rise as we escort the family, the cantor, and Mr. Goldberg from the chapel. We'll also uh, end with uh, uh, the video again. Everyone please rise. Actually, probably have it from here. We'll have the family come right this way.